I feel like this is going to be the last step. This is when I get out my rigor. It's one of that micro mini set made by Creative Mark. You can Amazon Creative Mark micro mini uh, three fine liners. I think they have more than three, but three is what I have. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm, 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 I'm going into the drawing. And it's not just a drawing, it's a gesture drawing. It's capturing our, our, our celebrating the energy of what I see. Invariably, when I get to this stage, I start slinging pain and it ends up being splotches. So I, I don't try to stop and clean that up. It's just part of the energy of, the, of what I do. So I just add a little bit more at the end to make it all feel like it, feel, feel at home. Okay, uh, so you already have some splotches. It's not gonna, it's not gonna ruin my day. Uh, big splotch. Just about got it on that. On that. Now I'm going to do just a few, well, let's see, I'll put this one right here. Not good. And I do goof up. I, I do eye on it. Uh, I, I'm gonna be talking. I'm gonna be doing. We'll be talking about writing later. In in um, one of the things I tell my paint, my writing students, and my painting students, if you goof up, you gotta fix it, or else start over. Because uh, in 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 one of the biggest problems that painters have is that they don't, I don't want to fix it. They might ruin it. Well, it's already ruined. Just go with it. Take, acknowledge what you got and go with it. Because if you don't fix it, you don't have anything anyway. Just take that risk and go with it. Uh, don't, don't let the enemy be the perfect, the perfect, yeah, do let the perfect be the enemy of the good. In that case, don't just let good enough as far as editing goes. I, I, as for writing, and I'll get into this later, I tell my writing students, write first, edit later. Don't edit yourself the whole time you're writing. Uh, in art, I'd say catch as many mistakes as you can along the way, but uh, invariably you'll see that, that, um, I, I just go with it. Okay, that, there's that. Now I'm going to go, okay, I need a little bit right here. A little bit of that red. A 
Well, if I had great paper, I could really scrub that out. I should have left that alone. I don't know why I didn't. Why didn't you leave that alone? Okay, so I, that's kind of got the red touches. Now I'm going to go in with uh, maybe just some blue touches. Some, some, uh, some Prussian blue and some indigo blue. Indigo blue is my black, but it's really just a dark, dark blue. I've been, I've been doing this. I'm just adding some water because you, with this with this rigger, it has to be wet enough. Not too wet, or you won't have any paint on your brush. But it has to be wet, and it has to be like an ink, like indigo or like like drawing ink. And that's not it. I said this earlier, but uh, part of capturing the, the look of, of the bachelor button is to capture those little hairy leaves, those little uh, rosemary-like leaves. And so don't, don't, plus they also can, they can also add to your, to your design. Every time you put one of them on there, you 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 bring the you you force the viewer's eye to go in one or another direction. Even at this stage, keep looking at your subject matter. Which direction is that petal really going? As opposed to what you think that petal ought to be doing. Don't draw what you think is there. Draw what's really there. And the only way to know what's there is to look.
brand new brush. It already has a hair wanting to do its own thing. And that's that's the thing about this particular brush. It, you can't have anybody out there making their making a, their own statement. You, everybody's got to pay attention and step up and do what they're supposed to do. So no 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 individual and no independent thinkers brushes on that particular brush. We do not appreciate that. Okay, I think I'm finished. I may put a little bit of, little tiny bit of definition here. Um, never say never. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm, am I just gonna just die because I had those little splashy nests? No, 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 we never do that. Well, I do, I do quit. In fact, I always tell people, you need to see the ones that got away. I throw things away all the time. I'm gonna put just a few more splashes in here to kind of bring that baby home. Is this cheating? Probably. But not for me, it's not. It's just what I do. Okay, there we got it. So there we have what, what I want to be. What I want to, not what I want to be when I grow up, but what I want to do with this painting. I'm gonna quit. <laughs>